fraction grading is calibrated by using the 546.1 nanometer line of Mercury. not D, and that's okay, because this terminology is not something we normally use. So read it again, because I want to make sure we understand what this means. Go ahead. Diffraction grading is calibrated by using the 546.1 nanometer line of mercury vapor. Okay, stop for a second. So let's understand what this statement is, because at this point we don't. That's okay. So we have the 546 nanometer line of mercury vapor. In other words, if we take this particular substance, mercury, which we've put made a vapor, and we illuminate it, it's going to send out light. And if we pass that light through a diffraction grating, we will get a line that is at the 546 nan .1 nanometers. So what is that referring to? That's the wavelength, right? It will be a specific color. You will see a line, a color come off of the mercury vapor after it's passes, passed through a diffraction grating at a certain color, which is a certain wavelength, okay? So this is the wavelength of 546.1 nanometers. We've already converted that. It's the same 546.1 times 10 to the negative 90 meters. The first order maximum is found at an angle of 21.2 degrees. Um, um, 21.2? Yeah. Okay. So notice they gave us two pieces of information there, the order number and the angle. <laughs> Calculate the number of lines per centimeter on the screen. And they want it in specifically lines per centimeter. So they want D, they want the number of lines per centimeter. Okay. So clearly, as I stated earlier, we're going to use uh, D sine theta equals M times lambda. So let's work through this. So D sine theta equals M times lambda. Our goal is to solve for D, the uh, gradient spacing. So M lambda over sine theta, we have d is equal to, we have all these numbers, 1 times lambda 546.1 times 10 to the negative 9 over the sine of our 21.2 degrees. One point five one zero one times ten to the negative seven. Song. What are the dimensions on this? Um, this is meters per line. Is that what they asked us to find, class? No. no. So it's important to realize that they have not actually asked us to find the grating spacing, the distance between the gratings, but rather one over the grating space. They've asked for meters per line, which is not D, well, D is the grating spacing. Ah, I'm up here. They've asked for one over D, the number of lines per centimeter. So we need to take one over D, so that's going to be 1.5101 times 10 to the negative seven, and that would be, we'll have lines on the top and meters on the bottom, we need to convert over to centimeters. So one meter on the top, 1,000 centimeters on the bottom, meters cancel out. One over D. 6,621. 6,600. 21.9. 21.9. Okay, so with sig figs, 6,620 lines per centimeter. <coughs> And that is our last thing today. Let's add to our table of friends. We have one friend to add to our table of friends. The name, the symbol, the units, and one friend to add to our table of friends today. Who is our friend, Dana? Ah, no.
No, actually that's not, that is a part of what we're going to talk about today, but slit separation is not the, the major piece that people tend to forget. Give me another one, Duval. Um, Which piece did, did he pull out from here today? Uh, order numbers. Order numbers, what I would put down as our new friend. Order number. Symbol for order number. Charles? Lowercase or uppercase? Lower. Lowercase dimensions on order number. Rick, none. There are none. We have two equations for order number. Mitch, give me one. Uh, G sine theta equals order number. What is this equation specifically for, Amy? This would be for constructive interference, or where we get bright spots, or what we call a maximum. Hannah, what's the other equation? What is this equation for? Stop it. I got a full 30 seconds. Andy, what's this one for? Dark. Uh, Destructive. Maybe it wasn't a full 30 seconds. But it was close, Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, people, thank you very much for working with me today.